Okay, this is a cute little greenhouse, and I wanted to kind of show you the entrance to it. There's this really cool um, private kind of hedge here. Um, one thing you may or may not like, <laughs> but I want to show you anyway a couple things. First of all, there's a cute little picket fence that just kind of goes along the side of the house. It's not really in front of the house. It's the neighbors, it looks like. It might need a few, um, maybe eight or ten boards replaced. And then out back behind the garbage, um, where they keep their garbage and the gas meter, it's just kind of a little old shed that is a plywood shed. It's not much. It doesn't look horrible, but it's nothing exciting. I think you could keep a lot more in there. Might need a new piece of plywood on the top. It's a real cute little street. It's kind of a private little street. It's about in the car about three, four minutes from I-5 and the third exit from the Vancouver Bridge going to downtown Portland. One thing this street has that's a, a little bit undesirable, I wanted to show you, down at the end of the street is the back side. Um, it's the back side of a where I'm trying to remember what this is. It has something to do where they work on the trains, but they don't do it from back here. And no one goes in or out this gate. So it's private and fairly quiet, but it is there. So when you pull in, um, when you pull down your street, you would see that down at the end, which means there's no through traffic. But then when you get under the street, it's very private where your home is. Okay, we're going to go inside here. Okay, so the home looks a little bit different than it did with the MLS listing because there was obviously someone living here at the time it was taken before. It's got this cute little window seat, really pretty like cherry colored laminate flooring, um, nice big open rooms. The kitchen is open to the family room and then there's a separate living room. There's a little Oh, I guess you could be, call it an office or a mud room out here that they built on after. It's kind of, it can be really nice. It probably is 95% finished out there. Really just needs some trim and a paint job. But it was a real nice idea, so that's that. And then the rooms, there's three bedrooms, two baths and it's pretty dark and I can't really get a good video but the rooms and the bath and the closets all look fine. Um, the only thing that I really notice in here is this carpet. This carpet probably needs to be replaced. I don't think it could be cleaned just because it was kind of uh, light in color to begin with and they had pets and it definitely needs to be stretched. That room's green, so <laughs> that may have to go. Probably the home needs to be painted and this carpet needs to be replaced because the carpet smells heavily of dog. And the appliances all stay, so just so you know, that's there. But that's really the only thing that needs to be done. The rest of the house looks really nice. So it would definitely need carpet and paint. Okay. This front yard is just super cute. This little patio leading up and the gate. I'm going to try and take a steady video to get out this gate for you. So here's the fence up close. <laughs> but it's got this nice little brick patio. There's that little room I was telling you about that they built on, which I think was just a back, you know, kind of out the back door. But they didn't, they just didn't quite finish it. So I don't know if you can see inside but it needs some trim and some paint and it'd be a nice little office or sunroom but the backyard is very very pleasant the grass is pretty and there's a nice little shed back there lots of trees and there you have it that's the greenhouse